This video will demonstrate aseptic technique within a clinical setting. Aseptic technique is the practice of carrying out a procedure to minimise the risk of contamination and possible infection. If aseptic technique is not used or performed incorrectly, then the patient could develop an infection, which may lead to long-term consequences and even death of the patient. One of the key principles of aseptic technique is decontamination of hands. In a clinical setting, soap and water should be used prior to and after the procedure. Hand sanitizer can be used in between. The six step procedure should be used. Gloves and apron are worn when undertaking decontamination procedures to protect the wearer's skin and to prevent cross-contamination. Disinfectant wipes are used for cleaning the procedure trolley before use. The trolley is cleaned from top to bottom using an S-shaped motion for flat surfaces. Following cleaning of equipment, PPE is disposed of in the clinical waste stream. Gloves are removed first so the wearer's uniform is not contaminated when removing the apron. Hand sanitizer is used in between processes using the six steps technique. I'm doing your dressing this morning, is that? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, okay, that's lovely. Do you want to um, take a seat on the couch, get yourself comfortable? I'm just going to pull this curtain across, uh, just give you some privacy and just give me a shout when you're yeah. ready. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When in contact with body fluids, ensure gloves and apron are worn. This may be an appropriate time to remove the dressing and carry out your own assessment of the patient's wound and consider any additional equipment you may require, such as wound swab kit or single-use sterile scissors. Ensure the used dressing is disposed of via the appropriate waste stream. Hand sanitizer is used in between processes using the six steps technique. All packaging should be checked for integrity, dryness and expiry date. Ensure when opening the sterile pack, only the underneath or corners of the pack are touched. If required, the waste bag is sterile in the pack and this can be used to rearrange items within the sterile field. Aseptic technique should be used for surgical wounds during the first 48 hours unless the wound is oozing. Dressing changes following a risk assessment of the wound, for example deep wounds, insertion of an enteral feeding tube and when caring for a pick or Hickman line. Ensure the package of the solution used is decontaminated and allow 30 seconds to dry prior to opening. Hand sanitizer is used in between processes using the six steps technique.
ensure when applying sterile gloves sterility is maintained. Clean the wound using a clean to dirty hand technique. This ensures only uncontaminated equipment comes into contact with the wound. Clean the wound starting from the cleanest area using one swipe. Dispose of all waste into the appropriate waste stream. Okay, Laura, that's all done now. So I'll just uh, let you get started. I'll just give you some privacy and pull the curtain back on. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Ensure any equipment that has been used is decontaminated and label with an I am clean sticker. Aseptic technique when undertaken correctly is a procedure that contributes towards preventing healthcare associated infections. Thank you for watching.